still his knowledge experience and understanding of Qigong will be limited and shallow compared with the vast and profound nature of Qigong itself. Therefore, there is no single person who is able to understand all of the practices and share them with you. So if you are wise, you should remain humble and search for other sources of knowledge and experience. Only if you can keep an open mind can you accept the nature of truth. And like one of the posts I made yesterday, copying a Sabian proverb, it said, Be humble for you are made of earth, be noble for you are born of stars. Okay, so another thing here with the book says, Don't be afraid, dare to challenge, dare to accept, dare to dream, dare to emerge from the traditional matrix. Be free from spiritual bondage. So with this, I want to start this review of chapter 1. Like I said, I'm only going to pick on the important aspects. I'm, everything here is important, but because it's a summary, just bear with me. Um, Qigong, what is key? Key is breath. Key is life force. In many languages, it has been described as neo, neo mind in Greece, prana in India, it is key in Japan, it is life force in English, it is emi in my mother tongue Yoruba. Okay, and I was able to facilitate the inclusion of three languages of Nigeria in the translation of one world, one breath. And my language says aye kan, emi kan, un mundo. Own, uh, respiration okay that is in Spanish so when we say ki gong gong means from the word gong fu mastery of an heart so ki is breath gong is mastery so mastering breath to derive all the benefits that would like summarize what ki gong is about and it's related to energy the energy exists everywhere and takes many different forms and one of the principles of thermodynamics says energy cannot be created and cannot be destroyed or can be changed from one form to another. So energy manifests in different forms. In the living body, you can find it as heat, you can find it as bioelectricity, you can find it as light, you can also find it as sound. Okay, and energy supports our spirit when the physical body is alive and also after death. The energy also can remain in dead objects which are without spirit. Although these objects do not grow, they can man the energy can manifest in different energy forms such as vibration and other things that can be measurable. We can find gemstones, precious stones in this class of non-living things that have vibration, energy in form of vibration. All right. So each time we talk about energy we link it with breath and this breath is a life force and the life force is resident in the blood because it is the blood that carries this energy throughout our body system to nourish our body parts and when we say the energy is manifested in the skin or led to the skin we can take an analogy of when we are sweating in order to cool down our body which might be heated up because of strenuous exercise or otherwise. Okay, so let's see the general concepts of Qigong. We talk of Qigong as a practice. It can be external or internal, and it's a balance of positive and negative, a balance of fire and water. And we talk about yin and yang, we talk about can and li. When yin is the softness and yang is the hardness, okay, when we say fire or positive, yang, and yin is like water or soft. And then we talk about tan and li. Li is fire and can is water. We see this later on as you go on. So external elisa is called waidan 
an internal elisa is made than. The internal elisa are the things we do with breath work, exercises that go on within our body, like visceral part of our body, but the manifestation is led outwardly to our, our, our body, the physical limbs. Whereas the external elixir are exercises we do by our limbs, okay, that have effect on our internal part. So the traditional definition of key or the general definition of key is the energy or the natural force that fills the universe. And we are universal citizens. We depend on this universe. We depend on this earth. So our alignment with the forces of the earth, with the energy of the earth, the electromagnetic force of the earth is very important for our vitality and wellness because we also manifest electromotive force because of the pulses that are generated by our, our organs and by our blood flow. Okay, there is a kind of rhythm because of the heartbeat, it has a rhythm, our breath, it has a rhythm, our brain also shows some vibration, our kidney, our heart shows some vibration and this generate pulses and overall cumulative it manifests as electromotive force that shows that we are alive and this can can go to the guardian key which is like a ball or aura that surrounds our body the strength and this the the, the the expansion and the colorfulness of this aura can be a testimony to our health status okay so there are three three powers which are the heaven and the earth and then man so the chinese theory reduces all to these three the heaven the earth and man so the heaven is like above us it's above us the earth is where we stand beneath us and we are the human being that we are in between so we have the sky or the universe as heaven that radiates its own energy to the plants to animals which we tap maybe from solar power the sun sunlight or we tap from moonlight and then this affects us too okay so the heavenly bodies exert their forces on the earth such as sunshine moonlight the gravity the moon gravity the energy from the stars all of these things are taken into cognizance and the earth key also also affect the animals affect the plants affect us as human beings so the earth key is influenced by the heaven key energy from heaven for example when there is too much rain the, the, the there will be a force a, a way of flooding when there is too much rain or for the river to change their path and without rain plants will also die it's like an ecosystem interdependence okay and as human beings we are omnivores as animals there are different classes herbivores or carnivorous animals or, okay and the plants also we tap from the earth we make our food we eat our food we cook sometimes and then we eat and then we turn this the nutrients from the food to serve our body to give us energy all right so by a, a an expanded definition the word key can represent energy itself, whereas it can also be used to express the state of the energy. So when we say Qigong, we have to have a channeling of our mind to something that is wider and not just narrowly to just energy. It also encompasses how we manipulate or um, uh, direct this energy to benefit us. Okay, so like I said, Kong comes from the word Kung Fu. So it means that whatever takes energy and time in form of dedication to lead to a, a, a stage of mastery, okay, that can be referred to as Kung Fu. Kung Fu is any study or training which requires 